This girl walked to school every day for two hours to get to school. And she would sit in school for four hours and then she would walk home. I run a bike tour company doing bike trips all over the world and I spend a lot of time in communities in the developing world and seeing the need for transportation. We're putting on an event this Saturday, it's called Bike for Africa and it's to raise money for bikes and bike ambulances for HIV AIDS workers in Africa. And these are people who will walk two days to get to a clinic or they'll walk three or four hours to get to the next village. And if we can provide them with a bike, we can make their work much more effective and we can help them turn the tide on HIV AIDS. There are 13 million people living in Malawi and there are 94 registered doctors. There are 900,000 people living with HIV AIDS in Malawi and the life expectancy in Malawi is 36 years. That may sound fairly hopeless to you, but I assure you it's not hopeless. There's a, a new model that's emerging in different parts of Africa called the community-based care. And it's essentially about bringing, bringing health care into communities rather than bringing people to health care. We are meeting with Virgin Mobile. They are the title sponsor of Bike for Africa. And we're hopefully going to get them to sign on the dotted line. You know, $150 gets a bike for an HIV AIDS worker, $400 is a bicycle ambulance. The mayor's been following my tweets and I invited him, so he, he retweeted my, my tweet about the event. So. That's awesome. Bikes Without Borders is a local organization that's working to address the healthcare crisis in Malawi. On May 30th, Bikes Without Borders will transform the Toronto Islands into a rural district in Malawi for their first annual walk and roll fundraiser. Participants will play the role of an African community health care worker by delivering medication, providing HIV, AIDS education, and other community care support services, all while raising money to buy bikes and bicycle ambulances for community health care workers in Africa. People who are walking today, congratulations, you delivered medications to 100 people, you did prevention education in 10 communities, you helped save 1,000 lives. For the people biking, we can say, well, you actually visited 2,000 patients and you visited 20 communities. We can demonstrate in the actual event itself what we're doing with our program. This is Canada's first bicycle powered sound system. We had over probably about 350 participants in the event itself. And then we had about 100 volunteers. We had another 100 vendors and people setting up villages. I think Toronto Cyclist Union came here. They brought a whole bunch of people as well. So well over 500 people. Overall, an amazing success. I think we raised over $60,000.